Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Joining me now is Bailey Blue. He's a world champion auctioneer and he's now king of the ring champion. First, congratulations. What an incredible achievement. I want you to tell us, walk us through that competition and, and what it was like to win it. Uh, been uh, probably about 10 or 11 years since I've even competed uh, in that sort of a, you know, scenario. So was invited to be a part of the Hall of Fame ceremony there at the King of the Ring, uh, the Cattle uh, Marketing Hall of Fame. Of course, we know Ralph Wade's been inducted into that. Uh, was invited to be a part of that, introducing a friend of mine. And uh, so I was going to be in the in there the weekend anyways, and I thought hadn't challenged myself in a long time, and, and you need to put yourself in uncomfortable situations every now and then and challenge yourself. And so I put my hat in the ring for the, the King of the Ring deal and, and just went in to have fun and, and uh, found out that uh, – when you're relaxed, it's a lot easier to compete and actually do well. So I had a lot of fun and was blessed enough to, to come out as the winner. Yeah. Well, you've been with Superior here now for a few months. You're coming out on the road. You know, what's it been like working these video auctions? Been a learning curve to it. You know, I've worked for Superior off and on for the last decade or so. Of course, that's been from behind the microphone. Uh, taking on this new role, is uh, it's been different and been a new challenge in itself, uh, but I've found that I really, really love it. Uh, it's still doing, you know, cattle marketing, uh, still get to be a, a vital part of the auction in itself, but uh, to kind of come out of the spotlight a little bit and get to do that part, um, as I learn it and I learn the people and the buyers and some of the producers and reps, uh, it's becoming more and more comfortable, and I'm really, really enjoying myself a lot. Yeah. Well, talking about, you know, the, your entry into this industry, how did you even get into the sale auction business and, and, and what, what made you want to get in this industry? So I grew up on a dairy farm in southwest Oklahoma. Uh, so we would go to auctions to buy dairy heifers or cows or maybe some bulls every now and then. Uh, and, of course, my grandpa, both of my grandpas uh, ran stocker cattle and one had a cow calf herd and would trade cows. So we would go to livestock auctions with them. And, and just like everybody, you know, you hear the story, you fell in love with the auction chant, uh, fell in love with, with everything about the auction. I love the atmosphere. Uh, so would emulate the auctioneer as a kid, you know, you hear the story time and time again, and, and I would do that. So... I uh, was in college and actually kind of my brother heard me doing the chant one day and he said, you, you need to go to auctioneer school. And I, I didn't even know there was an auctioneer school. So I started looking into it and I was 22 years old uh, and found one that I wanted to do and set a few goals. And so went to auctioneer school and, and was able to uh, make a career out of it. So when you first got in the industry, what was like the hardest thing for you to overcome? What was the biggest challenge jumping into this business? Getting anybody to trust you to come in and, and work, you know, and sell their cattle. So over the years, you you, you gain uh, experience, and, and once you gain that trust, you start getting jobs, and, and then it just kind of grows from there. Yeah. We sure do appreciate you. Congratulations on your win. It's great Thank to you, have you yeah. here. Don't go anywhere. We've got more Superior Sunrise up next. Mm -hmm.